Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to resolve uh, this error, which says like uh, entity manager wrapper get active definition function is not found. So uh, I recently installed this development module devil, and uh, after installing this module, my site got crashed. So I got some errors, and this error was one of them. Now, in order to solve this problem, I was searching on the internet and uh, luckily I found uh, one patch for this problem. So this is the patch for the problem and the link for this patch is also given in the description. So the error uh, is because of unavailability of this function definition in this file entity manager wrapper.php from this web profiler module. So what I did, I stored this file on my computer. So this is the file. I stored it as a emp.patch. And uh, now next, as a next step, what I did, I apply this patch on this file. So uh, what I will suggest you, I will suggest you to go to your uh, Drupal directory and go to the location of the module having web profiler. So in my case, I installed this devil module for this is for development purposes and this module was having web profiler as a sub module so what i did i simply go to its location so when you go to your uh, drupal directory main your site directory then you need to go to www directory in the web you have to go to modules and here uh, in my case my development module was installed in country so it can be in country or it can be in custom in your case. So then you need to go to this development module and here you will find a directory with name web profiler and then you just need to follow this path. So from web profiler, SRC, then entity, then entity manager wrapper. So SRC, entity and uh, this is the file on which we are going to apply the patch. So how we are going to apply the patch, just open your terminal and uh, let me clear the terminal. Then you need to write patch. And then here you need to write the full path to the file on which you are going to apply the patch. Now. In this case, it can be a very long path. That's why I ask you to open the concerned file in uh, in your directory viewer. So now what you just need to do, you just need to drag and drop that file on your terminal. So now we have provided the file on which we are going to apply the patch. Next thing what we need to do, we need to apply the path to our patch file. So in my case, I have saved this file on desktop. So I simply drag and drop that file as well. So then I executed this command and uh, the error got resolved. Thank you very much for watching.